Hi, in this video I'm going to talk on the disaster recovery and how to plan DR for your Active Directory. So for example, you have a number of servers in, in number of domain controllers in your production and you want to protect them for the Active Directory disaster recovery planning and uh, so so let's assume you have a prod site and uh, here you have a two domain controllers in your production and you have planned DR site somewhere in off site and you wanted to make sure that this DC1 and this DC2 should be always available at the time of DR so you have multiple op options to to migrate them or, or copy them or, or do the backup and restore at the time of DR so it's totally based on your RTO that how much time you want to spend uh, for recovering of your active directory domain controller for example if you have if you if you want to have a less number of time uh, excuse me so if you want to if you want to say let's say you want to keep the RTO for 30 minutes not more than that and your your production actual your domain controllers are, are like uh, 200 gig 200 GB and 30 minutes RTO so you cannot recover them with, with the help of backup so you need to make sure that you have some kind of replication technology between your production storage and your DR storage like uh, NetApp for example if you have NetApp storage in prior and you have NetApp storage in DR and you can just enable the replication between these two storage and you can make sure that these two virtual machines if they are VM are replicated here so you you will be able to achieve this RTO of 30 minutes so what you need to do you need to make sure that you plan accordingly so you have to recover you have to protect one and two both of the DCs to the DR and once it's replicated over to the uh, DR storage so that will be a offline copy and if you declare disaster on your production site then you can make sure your DC1 and DC2 will come online for that you need to do some planning like uh, just make sure that uh, DC1 you 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 bring up the DC1 first you make check all FSMO roles and see if the of area authentications and, and database is good then you bring on the DC2 and you just make it as a active directory non-authoritative non-authoritative restore you just need you just set the buff flag value to 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 4 for this so this domain controller will will go and take the updates from the DC1 and there will be no um, replication issues between both of the domain controller active directory replication and they will communicate with each other and all the clients which you will recover at the DR sites will be able to log into this DR so this was the first introductory uh, high level architecture for DC disaster recovery planning so I will be sharing few of the thoughts in, in my next video so keep watching thank you so much Please like and share my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.